Hi. Hey everyone. I don't know who's going to join, but I got to tell y'all right now that I am ready to rock and roll. Um, I got a shout out to my girl Grayson, who's on this, um, this group as well. She's one of the founders too. And, um, she just did her first live video this morning and it was really good. It was really good. Um, I don't know girls. When did I do this? A couple days ago was my first live video. I'm not good at it, but, um, either way I got on and started talking and all these girls joined my live video. We all started talking, finding out we have a lot in common. So here I am, um, ready to talk to all you people. Oh my gosh, you guys look at these bags. You could put groceries in these bags. That's okay. Anyway, um, most of y'all know me. If you don't, my name's Jennifer Tran. Uh, yep, got that Asian name, and I'm all white with some freckles. I'm a quarter Japanese. I mean, my dad's half Japanese. My grandma's whole. She's amazing. Um, and my husband's Vietnamese. So that is why I am. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Random. Not on drugs. Not drinking. This is who I am. Anyway. I'm going to straighten my hair, but I thought I'd keep it real with you guys um, today a little bit. Um, Grayson, I'm going to get a good shout out to you this morning because um, I was dragging. I was absolutely dragging. Um, this is my first real day off. I am a banker. Most of you all know I have a pretty intense job. Um, bankers, everyone thinks, is Monday through Friday. It's not. It's not Monday through Friday. Um, so... Uh, I work crazy hours. Um, sometimes I'm working 70 hours a week. I do work remotely. Um, that part, I either love it or I hate it. Depends on the day. Um, but anyway, I was laying in bed today because I'm like, I don't want to do anything. I don't want to think about anything. Because I'm also a uh, student trying to uh, finish that degree for accounting. Um, I kind of doing everything backwards a little bit. I'm almost done with it and it has made my life, it's made a really big difference for me. Um, and then in addition to that, I'm trying to keep on the weight. I lost 71 pounds. Uh, I tried to keep it off, but I've gained about mm, 12 of it back. No bueno. Nope. So, um, I'm going to straighten my hair while I'm keeping it real with you guys, but here's what I want to talk about. So Grayson gets on this morning, totally totally um, transparent this morning completely transparent just gets right on there says what she's doing never done a live video before got the gunshot up and just did it I'm not saying all you guys have to do live videos but I implore you to do it and it's kind of a little bit empowering but the biggest key to this group is motivation and that's what we're doing this for uh, we are all on the lady boss group we are not promoting anything um, you guys can do whatever you want. Uh, we absolutely don't say one diet's better than the other because clearly we are all trying to figure it out ourselves, every one of us. Um, but what I was doing was laying in bed and Grayson starts talking about getting ready. She's not feeling good. She's got a lot of health issues and yet she was still pushing herself to go. She's literally in pain while she's doing the video. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to go do it. And I'm also not telling you guys you have to go to the gym. I am not telling you guys you have to get your hair all done. Okay, yes I am. And here's why. Calm it down, Jennifer, calm it down. Okay. Here's why I'm telling you guys. You guys have to get ready. Whatever it is that you feel a little extra, not the usual yourself, but like something extra that you would never usually do for yourself in the morning. I see someone is watching, hello. Um. I'm just trying to tell y'all that you don't have to do anything specific, but something that makes you feel good. If there's some earrings that you don't wear and you're like, look, I am wearing sweatpants today. Look at this, you guys. I'm wearing a tank top. I am wearing some earrings. I put some gold glitter on my eyes. Do you see this? Was it necessary? Probably not. But you know what? My little six-year-old son, he likes it. And so that's what I'm doing. So here I am. So I wanted to tell you guys that uh, y'all need to get up and you guys need to get yourself going and do something for yourself. And I don't mean, you know, go get a, go get a massage or anything else because a lot of us always hear that. It sounds good, but we don't have time for it. But I'm just telling you, do something physically for you that feels 
good for you, makes you feel good. If it's going to the gym, great. If you need to get makeup on to make yourself feel a little bit better to go to the gym, great. And while you're doing it, and after you feel good, you need to compliment or say something to someone. That is my big thing. I went out on a date night with my husband the other day, and guess what we did? We went to Buffalo Wild Wings, okay? I was trying to get myself all fancy up, so that's why I met the other girls. <clears throat> and when I was talking to him, we were leaving the restaurant, and I see these cute girls just sitting there, and they're just talking, looking all like hot stuff. And I'm walking out the door and I just leaned over and I said, oh my gosh, you have the most pretty, the prettiest hair I've ever seen to the girl. And the girl says, who? Me? And I'm like, uh, yeah. And she goes, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And I told her friend that she had the prettiest skin and, and they said, no one ever does that. Usually someone's always saying something, you know, mean or giving dirty looks. And I said, that's because someone has low insecurity. They have self, self-esteem issues. We need to lift each other up, and that's what this is for. We need to lift each other up. We are all struggling with something. Our skin's not good enough. Our hair is falling out. Our hair isn't thick enough. Our hair is too straight, too curly. There is something wrong with us. We're too big. We're trying to get on this diet, and we're on a roller coaster every single day, and every single day is a choice for you. And today, Grayson helped me get out of bed to get myself ready and as soon as I get ready and I have said this on my last video as soon as I get ready I feel ready to go I'm ready to rock and roll let's be honest guys when you guys don't have any makeup on you guys have those sweatpants on and you guys are walking around you can take it or leave it you can be in the house all day because you're not really feeling like going out you know what I mean but as soon as I do that and I start trying to make myself feel just a little bit better I'm ready to just go do my homework but at least I got myself up and I got myself ready just in case something cool is about to happen. Maybe I should leave my hair like this. I don't know. So, um, another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was the rest of this week. I'll tell y'all, I am a very hot mess, which is why I call myself the hot mess mom. I feel like that's like my little, uh, claws out there. Uh, but here's, here's what I want to tell you guys. Um, I, hi honey. <laughs> my honey, my, my honey, my husband was just walking in for a second. What I want to tell you guys is this. You guys have to understand that I am a crazy lunatic. I travel for work sometimes. Um, I've got too much going on and I can't keep everything Oh my gosh, did you make me smoke salmon <gasps> with cream cheese? Here, come say hi real quick to everyone. Just say hi. And he said no, thank you. Look, you guys, he made me smoke. It's smoked salmon, cucumbers, and some cream cheese, Triscuits, which I probably can't have, but isn't that nice? Oh my gosh. Somebody wants something. I don't know what it is. Maybe me to clean the bathrooms. Anyway, um, what my biggest problem is right now is that I like organization and I am not very good at organization. That is one of my flaws. Have a calendar. We are going on vacation in two weeks. Really excited about it. Problem is I work remotely, okay? I have two kids. I have a teenager who is 16 and a half and I have a son who is six and a half. And both of them are gonna wanna stay home and watch TV. And someone, specifically my 16 and a half year old daughter, would like to be on her cell phone all day. That's not gonna happen for me. I am not going to let that happen. So, here is what I've gotta do. I've gotta come up with plans on what she's gonna do. She loves archery. I'm gonna get her in some more archery. But my son, I wanna get him into some camps. But then I feel guilty because I'm like, he really is a mama's boy and he wants to be with me during the summer. He doesn't want to be anywhere else. He is big time tied to me. I am tied to him. He's already been in kindergarten, so he's, you know, he's going to be going in the first grade. He does great in school, but he's, him and I are linked, you know? Me and my daughter are very much linked too, but, you know, she's older. So, I've got to get these kids going. I get to get on work at 5 a.m. and I get to get off at 1 o'clock if I wanted to, but yet I can't because I end up working till 7 o'clock at night, sometimes 9 o'clock at night. 
Um, and everyone's like, gosh, like focus on your family and stuff. You don't know until you've been there what pressure is on me. You guys don't know anything about it. Not to say you guys, but I'm just talking about the people who are out there judging and saying things. So I need to get this organized and I need some help. I need some help because I'm, I, um, I've got so many things going on in my head. Oh my God, the budget's got to be done. Oh my God, I got to vacuum the house. I got to order a carpet cleaner. Oh my gosh, I got to get the bathrooms cleaned. And um, I mean, God forbid my kid sit on the floor in the kitchen for a second because I have not mopped that in a week. Um, you know what I mean? Like there's so many things going in my head. And um, I, one of my friends who is um, going to be on here, I hope, I hope, I hope, she knows who I'm talking about. She calls me um, a couple times a week. And I can't talk to her when she calls me and it frustrates me because she is a busy mom too. She's got twins and she is always calling me and um, I finally am like, you know what? I've got to take that call. I've got to talk to her and um, I need her and she needs me. So I guess I'm saying to you, maybe you guys can motivate me a little bit too and help me get a little bit of organization. This group is here so that we can lift each other up, give each other ideas, recipes, crafts, um, things you're good at, random things that you wanna talk about. Um, if you guys want to have a bad day on here, the moment you start talking on here, you start kind of feeling a little better because you already know that all the women on here can at least relate to one thing, one thing for you. So we are here to for each other and I'm hoping that this group grows and grows and grows and that we start spreading out positivity. And I'm not asking to be all happy guns and roses all the time. I don't think that really made sense, guns and roses. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Anyway, flowers and roses and you know rainbows. We don't have to be like that all the time. But I don't want to see us, you know, being completely negative all the time on here either. And I don't want to see us constantly being depressed because at the end of the day, we got to be accountable for ourselves. You have a choice to get yourself up out of that bed or to lay there. You have a choice whether or not you are going to allow other people to make you feel down or you find a way to lift yourself up and fight through that. You have to find a way. I call it my numbing zone and I am able to push through some things and then when I get home, I can be with my bubble with my family or my friends that I need to talk to so desperately. I have another friend out there, she knows very well who she is as well. And when we talk, which is very rare, but when we talk, it's like we just connect and, and it's just like other people understand you and you don't have to even tell them everything. And that's what this is. That's what this is supposed to be for us. We're random people. So you can share whatever you wanna share in here. It's not going anywhere, it's a closed group. There will be no judging on here. There will be none because if that's the case, sorry peeps. Yow, 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 yow. There will only be good judgment, not bad judgment. I love you guys. I've talked enough. I'm going to get out of here so that I can go eat this delicious stuff. But I just had to show you guys my go later. I may have big eyes. I may have big baggy crud around here, and this is not my best day. Maybe I got to do something with this too. Hold up, guys. Hold up. Because if I don't do it with you guys, I'll just leave it. And then I'll really look like a dork. Let's see. No. No. Gotta do something about this big forehead. But that's okay. Because some of this stuff, I'm not looking half bad. You know, that's okay. Alright, I love you guys. Mwah! Post your live videos or ideas or anything on here. If you guys have a great idea, post it on here. Love ya. Peace out.